Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. So today we're on the topic of keyboards and more specifically on the topic of keycaps. A forewarning, this is my first time diving into anything keyboard related. So if I mix up anything or get anything wrong, please don't grill me. Let me know in the comments below. Go easy on me, okay? Now, before we dive right into the video, I do stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. The link is gonna be in the description if you do wanna check it out, along with all my other social medias. Without further ado, let's jump into what keyboard that I'm currently using. So this is the keyboard that I currently use. This is the Epo Maker SK61. So luckily, I managed to purchase this on Kickstarter when Epo Maker were looking for crowdfunding. I think I got it for around 60 to $70, and I just checked it's still the same price on Amazon. The keyboard is fully customizable itself, from the keycaps to the PC, be to the switches everything you can imagine you can change it so really really good starting ground for anybody who's getting their first time mechanical keyboard so my keyboard is equipped with the cherry mx red switches the keycaps themselves are a black and gray combination that's what epo maker offer but obviously we're here to change the keycaps today so i've been browsing the market and all sorts of keyboard customizations and things like that unfortunately here in the uk we're not really caught up with the rest of the world in terms of customization for keyboards and pc kind of related things so coming across anything decent was either really high priced or in a really high postage but that's when I was scrolling through TikTok and I came across Custom Keycaps UK. Now, I'll put a link to their website in the description below if you guys want to check it out, but they're exactly what the doctor ordered. Custom Keycaps for my keyboard while also keeping the budget down but allowing slight customization. Perfect. Now, these guys stock a massive range of colors of keycaps for great prices also. Once again, the link is going to be in the description if you do want to check it out. This is not an affiliate or a sponsored link or anything like that. This is just an honest review and opinion on these keycaps. So I went ahead and ordered the white and purple set. So we're here to unbox that today and I'm going to show you guys what they look like on my Epo Maker SK61. All right, so here's the box that they arrived in. Nothing fancy, just how I like it, straight to the point. Once you open the box, you get a nice little thank you card. Unfortunately, with my order, I had a bit of trouble with the shipping. But thanks to legend Ethan at Custom Keycaps UK, they refunded me my shipping and got mine out the next day to me. So Ethan, if you're listening or watching this, I appreciate you a lot, man. Thank you. The keycaps themselves come in this nice foil bag with their logo on the bag and all the keycaps are inside. So you can see here, I got a few out just to show you guys how they look. Sorry about the focus. First time kind of doing these unboxing vids. Hopefully I'll get better, but yeah, go easy on me. So the keycaps are really nice, soft to the touch, and they are double shot PBT, meaning that there are two layers of plastic molded to each other. So that means you shouldn't have any signs of wear no matter however long you use these for. Oh, and you also get a nice little keycap puller if you didn't get one with your keyboard. Here's just a short little time lapse of me installing the keys onto my keyboard. And again, just to remind you, I have the purple and white combination. So the letters and numbers are purple, with all the outer keys like shift and caps lock and backspace all being white. So the main reason I needed to swap out the default keycaps is that they were just stickers on top of gray keycaps, which makes it really hard to see when it's dark in my room. But now you'll see from the video that the LEDs underneath on the keyboard's PCB can shine through the double shot PBT keycaps, making it so much easier to see what key I'm pressing when it's dark or dimly lit in my room. My first impression once they're on the keyboard is that they're great. It's an instant splash of color compared to my old layout that was on the keyboard before, I'm going to experiment with a few keys to see if I can get some unique touches. For example, a unique escape cue or something from Etsy, something like that, just a bit unique. Now you will see that I've left a few default gray keycaps. That's because they don't have the correct size for this keyboard. Unfortunately, one thing to note that if you do end up purchasing this keyboard is that some of the keycaps are different sizes compared to the industry standard. So this technically isn't a full 60% because it's got keys like delete and page up on, whereas other 60% keyboards will have that in their function menus. Nevertheless, this doesn't bother me at all. It allows me to get a bit more creative with it and hopefully find some different and unique keycaps. So like I said before, guys, I know it's a bit of a different video today and I hope you enjoyed it, but um, I really think the keyboard did turn out really nice. Here, here's it like in, in person. The main thing that helps me the most is obviously when it's dark in my room that I can actually see what key I'm pressing. I'm obviously not the best touch typer, as you can imagine. For gaming, it's perfect. It makes the keyboard sound really nice. I'll give you guys a little listen. The red switches are an absolute lifesaver. If you do go for a keyboard, just a reminder, please don't get blue switches. You'll be annoying you and everybody around you. But yeah, that's all for today's video, guys. I know it's very, very different compared to the usual content that I kind of upload. But I'm starting to just upload a variety of things. So if you do like this video, don't forget to drop a like on the video. I would appreciate it a lot. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the social media and Twitch links below in the description. Thank you again for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.